Okay, now that we are done with our step one, painting the shapes on a piece of paper, we're going to begin our character. So this is step two. You can choose any of these funky creatures that you would like to add. I'm gonna try the snake. I am going to follow the directions that are on the paper and make those big wavy lines. Of course, my version of this creature will look different than the paper, but I'm still observing. Oops, I made a mistake. I want to make his head bigger. Look how easy it is to correct that. Then you cut out your creature. And once you have it cut out, we will begin to add the relief designs on top of the creature. For this step, we need to draw out the various or different shapes that we would like to add. You can really add any interesting and creative shapes that you would like. Just see how large they should be so that they fit on top of its body. Here are some examples. You can really make any, any designs and patterns that you would like. Now cutting out the shapes, I can cut off the pieces of cardboard that I don't need and disregard them. So I'm cutting also along the shapes roughly, see like I'm doing here, and then I go in with detail. Now I hold my scissor hands close to my body and I use my other hand to twist the paper so that I can easily cut. So my scissor hand will stay still and all I do is open close. And with my other hand that is not cutting the paper, I am turning the paper to cut the perfect little circle. So even if I have a tiny little paper or have a large paper, I can manipulate the paper much easier this way. Once we have our shapes cut out and ready, I, we can place them on the design where we want them. And then when we like it, we glue it. The next step is to add the foil. We're gonna cover this shape with foil. Now any curvy uh, shape like the snake is going to be a little bit tricky to cover smoothly. So I place the cardboard with my relief design upside down. See, and then I rub it on the other side because I really want to see those beautiful patterns that I added. This is the relief effect coming to life. Okay, and then I just, with my finger, um, without breaking the foil, I'm just rubbing on the edges so I can see where the snake or the shape that I have um, begins and ends. And then I wrap it around like a little present. Now the back doesn't have to be perfect. It is the top part that I want as smooth as possible. So just cut or tear the foil smaller so that you can tuck in the pieces nicely. And then the edges that stick out, we wanna remove those also. Using a scissors might be neater if you wanna cut those extra pieces off on the side, but you can also tear them a little. Just be careful that you don't tear them all the way and then you break your shape and you have to start over. Okay, so just keep going and make sure that you have nice smooth edges. Wrap it like a prison, tuck it like a teddy into the shape. Now, after I have tucked in all those edges, I'm gonna do one last smooth rub over all the shapes so that the edges, the relief parts, will really stand out from the background. Now, organize your table so that everything is nice and neat and that you can see what you are doing. If your desk is clear, then you can view all your beautiful, colorful markers that you have available. Folk artist uses lots of bright and many or a big variety of colors. So I'm going to encourage you to use as many colors as you can. For the race parts, I'm choosing to use some warm colors. So I'm using red in this case because I think that it will help the relief parts, the parts that stand out, 
and those shapes stand out a little bit more. And then for the flatter parts, I color with cool colors. Oops, I made a mistake there. I colored one of the raised parts with the blue. But that's okay, because in art, I can fix it as easy as coloring over it with another color. And look, it's making this very interesting purple color. I like that. Now, finish all your colors, but see how I can add so much detail by adding more color. So I don't want to just have one or two colors. I want at least three to four, even five different colors. To have our fancy shapes uh, really look nicely on our final artwork, we need to now finish our beautiful background. So we have these rocky kind of looking shapes that we added with our white paint. And now we're gonna color using value. The value is the color from dark to light. So I could do a light color on the outside edges and then add a darker color inside and then blend it with a tissue to make it go from light to dark. I can also do the opposite. I could do a dark edge like I did with the orange and the yellow. I could do a dark edge around the corners and then go in with a lighter color so it goes from dark to light. So rub, 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 blend, blend, blend. This is a fun part where you just blend those colors and look at the beautiful values that we get from dark to light or light to dark. Now once all my tile looking shapes are colored with beautiful values, I add my relief design. 